Yo, what's good, bro? As I've learned new things as a scripter, I've realized that there are a certain amount of things that the majority of us go through. I made a video similar to this one a while back called the five stages of a game developer in Roblox. This is gonna be similar to that one, but specifically for scripters, I guess. I think this is something that I have to talk about because a lot of you might be going through struggles in regards to your coding skills, but as you realize by watching this video, you're not the only one. All right, I'll stop yapping now, I'll lock in, and I'll finally start the video that you came here to watch. We're obviously gonna start with the stage that the most people start on. I call this the baby scripter stage. I still remember my baby scripter stage. I was pretty much just binging all the Dev King's videos. I even had every single feature that he explained inside one single workspace. Like everything I learned, I remember I put in one single workspace so that I could easily access everything that I wanted to review or study or whatever. Since people of this stage don't have any actual experience in coding, like at all, you're pretty much limited to whatever the video in front of you is typing. A lot of the people subscribe to me are somewhere in their baby stage i feel that's something that i sometimes forget or not give enough importance to as i really should when i'm making tutorials and that's obviously on me that's my bad and low-key sometimes it comes to bite me in the like people in the comments be saying oh it doesn't work blah 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 and i'm just looking at them like bro you think i'm trying to scam you or some? like just read the screen mother daddy chill but yeah, essentially in this stage, all you're trying to do is learn the syntax of code and how logic works, two fundamentals for scripting. You shouldn't rush this stage or any of the other stage for that matter, but this one is crucial because your growth rate as a scripter will heavily depend on how well you handle the fundamentals. And I guess that's for everything in life as well, but like in coding, it's very relevant. This is something that you're gonna hear a lot throughout the video, but this is true. I've helped people that have nothing but the basics of coding and within one single day, they're able to learn how to make combat systems like literally just by knowing about the basics of coding and a little bit about the engine like all i have to do is give them a little bit of direction and why not but i've also tried helping people that don't even know the basics of coding and trust me when i say that sh didn't go anywhere like i try explain something to them and they'd be looking at me as if i'm speaking japanese bro like they'd come to me trying to make some sort of combat or dash or whatever without even knowing what a for loop is like bro i wish i could help you but in much i can do at that point the best advice i can give to anyone that is in this stage is to just commit to a playlist to learn the basics of code i personally recommend brawl dev's playlist shout out to brawl dev he has a very good beginner's playlist and also an advanced playlist if you watch both of his playlists you'll be straight but literally is why you recommend doing brawl dev if you learn from the dev king it's complete and updated the dev king's playlist is kind of old the basics of coding didn't change since then and i don't think they will but you might as well watch from an updated source i'm not trying to discredit the dev king's playlist or anything brawl dev's advanced playlist is still not completely done but he has a lot of useful videos in there that even i go back from time to time to refresh my memory on certain stuff but that's pretty much it for this first stage now we can go to the second stage In the second stage, just like a toddler, you're starting to take your first steps as a scripter on your own. You're starting to make some stuff on your own, but all the people that I've met that are on this stage, they all share one common thing. You want to know what that is? It's frustration. Here's where frustration starts for most of us. Why? Because after learning the basics, now you finally realize that everything you need to learn is not necessarily in one single playlist. You don't usually get high levels of frustration in the baby stage because usually people that make full on playlists, they explain it pretty well, but also because it's just super basic you might struggle a little bit in the beginning of the baby stage but once you get the hang of it you can quickly push through the whole stage if you lock in also in this stage that's when you really have to start diving into articles from the dev forum and roblox docs to get information on how to correctly do stuff that you want to do in this stage you can get a general idea of what's happening but not quite you might still have to watch a lot of videos on how to do certain stuff and also a very common factor here is the amount of time you take to code certain stuff the fastest way to overcome this stage is just getting comfortable with being uncomfortable this is the one thing most people that rage quit on this stage fail to do and i know it's easier said than done it's not like you're gonna achieve this in one day but by constantly trying to build a new system that you got no idea on how to do and doing research on how other people have done what you're trying to do to slowly but surely get there i guarantee that if you're not comfortable diving into the unknown as a rookie scripter you're cooked like there's nothing you can really do you really won't be able to progress also an interesting fact is that in this stage is where you'll most likely start 
developing some sort of coding style like you start getting comfortable naming your variables a certain way you have a specific way to structure your code in terms of like the white spaces the comments and all that and the best advice i can give you when you're under this stage is not to commit to one super long project but rather make different super small micro projects just code small systems to get you comfortable with the different features that roblox studio has to offer because from this point onward it's not really knowing how to code that's going to really make you a better scripter but rather how well you know how to work with the different features that roblox studio has to offer now on to the next stage This is the stage that I'm currently at, which is crazy because in the video I made, God knows how many months ago, I was still at this stage. Hold on, hold on, let me explain. In that video, I also mentioned that I believe this to be the longest stage of the five stages that I mentioned. Also, back then, I had just entered the stage. I consider myself more advanced in the same stage now. The main difference between this stage and the previous stage is the amount of wisdom you have in relation to Roblox Studio features, scripting techniques, resource gathering. At this stage, you'll also know how to read almost every code and have at least some idea of what's going on. So if you're reading someone else's code and you're on some, what is this ancient language type then you're not on this stage yet. Also, when I first entered this stage, I noticed that my problem solving skills were a lot better, meaning you debug significantly faster, and this is to be expected given how many errors you've encountered by now. In this stage, you'll start developing a certain way on which you like to do your frameworks, and you'll also be capable of building frameworks or systems mostly by yourself. Don't get me wrong, I still do research on how to do certain stuff, and I don't think that's ever going to go away fully, but if you compare the amount of work you're able to do on your own now to the previous stage, you'll see a noticeable difference. You're just comfortable with not needing a video to do what you need to do. As a matter of fact, sometimes it might even be annoying to just copy the code word for word. So sometimes you might look at the code and say like, I, right, this is how he did it and just go on and do it on your own. Adapt it to your systems and to your specific needs and you're good. Or at least that's my opinion. You know, it's funny how some people that watch my videos might look at me like, damn, this dude knows so much. But I'm telling you, I've seen some stuff, some codes, some frameworks that when I see them, I'm like, what the actual f is going on here and it ends up taking me a good while before i can actually figure anything out if anything so that just goes to show you the massive amount of growth opportunity i still have and potentially every other person that's on the same stage as well hence why i call this stage the potential stage you know scripting but you're not really like super super good at it even though on the surface it might look like that to some people also i really don't recommend doing any advanced commissions before you get to this stage because it's in this stage that you have developed your problem solving skills significantly and also it's at this stage that you know about a significant portion of the features and resources that roblox studio has if you do commissions before this i think you'll just be slowing yourself down for the sake of some petty bobugs but you might just want to do that i don't know to be honest i don't even know what else i can give to you in terms of advice here other than to be consistent in your scripting practice ideally every single day make projects experiment with features you haven't heard before and all that but i'm convinced that the most important thing here is to just be consistent and keep trying and this finally brings me to the last stage finally the last stage, the God Scripter, obviously, since I'm not in this stage myself, I can't really talk from personal experience, but if we got any God Scriptures here, let me know if I nailed it. From what I've seen from the scripts that I've seen from advanced people, the biggest difference here is just the sheer effectiveness of their frameworks. I'm not even sure how to expand on this, but like their frameworks are so versatile and every system connects so beautifully into each other that honestly, if you've never looked at anything like this before, you might get overwhelmed. Like I remember a while back, I saw a super advanced framework that a super advanced scripter had made. And at the beginning, I was like, bro, this dude just made this framework unnecessarily long. No one else other than him is going to understand this framework. This needs to be recorded and whatnot. But bro, honestly, the more he analyzed it, the more I was like, see, hold on, bro might be onto something. So I just humbly reminded myself that I ain't and decided to start practicing doing frameworks like the one I encountered. And obviously, the only way you're gonna get to that point is by familiarizing yourself with the vast majority of features and just experimenting via trial and error to see what works best. If you have a mentor or something like that, I guess the process would be faster, but mainly for most of us, we're gonna have to just do trial and error. That's what happened to me. If you are blessed enough to have a mentor, then you do you, bro. But yeah, that's what I believe the four stages of being a scripter are. Definitely let me know on which stage you're at the moment 
comment let me know if this video was helpful entertaining and if you want to see more of these commentary type videos also next week i'm gonna be reviewing all the projects that you submitted in the discord if you're interested in meeting cool developers then consider joining our discord link in the description they said keep leveling up bro be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace